of shotgun cartridges. Mumford, Milo, out. What of you? You guys can look over my shoulder. I don't like looking back, it's kind of weird. Hello. Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nigel Hay and the channel is Nigel's Cheap Vlogs. I welcome you all back once again. Several things have been happening over the past few weeks. I should say a couple of weeks because I've not done anything for two weeks. And I'm going to tell you exactly why. And uh, I'm also going to give you a little insight into the upcoming video. Uh, but if you don't want to hear any of that, you can just skip to this time frame right here. It'll take you right to the start of the video. If not, just listen to me for another minute or two and I'll tell you exactly what's been going on and what's coming up. Usually on this channel, I do things like uh, weather vlogging, COVID videos. Uh, I also do uh, a few travel things outside of the region as well, like air, air flying and just, just stuff like that. Basically, I do a bit of everything because uh, I don't exactly know what I want really in life. So anyway, um, I've decided over this last couple of weeks, I really want to give the COVID stuff a rest. I'm, I'm sick to death of it. I really am. I know quite a few people out there have expressed the same opinion. Uh, even though they do get high views on my YouTube channel, it's not what I'm all about. I, I, I don't care if 50 people watch my video, video, to be honest. I just enjoy making videos full stop. For the time being, COVID is going to be pushed to the side. Just, just pushed to the side like that. So uh, no more COVID for quite a while, fingers crossed. And hopefully it'll just disappear altogether. That said, um, this past week, I finally got to go away. It's been 13 months since I had a vacation. So me, uh, myself, the wife and the kids, uh, we packed up the two dogs and uh, we went away for uh, six nights. Uh, we didn't go far. We didn't leave the province. Three and a half hours away, we rented a cottage on the water and literally we just packed up most of our stuff in the house so we didn't have to go out that often and just sat in the middle of nowhere looking over the lake and just relaxing for a whole week. And it was great. It was nice to switch off. Um, I had no intention of making any vlogs with the exception of possible a storm one, which I did try and I don't think I'll publish it because nothing really materialized out of it. But I did try to do a storm vlog. So on one of the days that I was there, I decided I was out on a walk with the dogs and I, I took my, uh, my small camera, my, uh, my GoPro. That's all I took with me on my walk. I uh, put it in my pocket and we went for a walk just to take some videos and pictures of the dogs while I'm out and about. I didn't know if it was going to rain or not, so I took, them, took it with me. We walked up the road and as I got up the road, something caught my eye and basically it was a roadblock, so I had to go and explore it. So before I tell you any more, I want to let you know I'm in the area of Ipawash, which is like not too far away from Grand Bend on Lake Huron. So anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to show you the video. This is just me exploring and this is what I found. Enjoy. As you can see, there's a road blockage here. There's no signs saying keep out. There's, there's nothing. I haven't got a clue what this road is. There's a little shack just beyond there. So I don't know what this is. Part of it wash, I'm just afraid because I know it's an old military base just up there. And I don't know if this is the area which is now blocked off or what. So I'm just curious. All right, we're not going to explore it. There's no sign saying do not enter. So uh, let's go and explore. Come on, let's go. It's very eerie. Not sure if this is an old campground or something. I'll have to look on Google Maps in a minute. Further south of me is the old army base, which is now a reserve. But I don't know what this place is. It's, uh, so it's not signposted. It doesn't say keep out or anything. So I'm just curious. So I'll have a little walk around so I can see it, but this is it. Just up in the distance is a couple of structures. Some, uh, that is like a bandstand or a gazebo or something. We'll walk up to that before I turn back around. But uh, looks like this place hasn't been used for a while, whatever it is. Maybe it is native land, but my apologies, I didn't see a sign. Looks like a structure out of The Walking Dead. Like a gathering where people 
will come to see you. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing up there? <laughs> She's not bad for an old dog, is she? Some kind of staging area. Duramax diesel. These are the fire pits. I want to know what this place was. It looks like some kind of park until recent. Um, um, right by the lake. And I have no idea what this place is. Like I said, it's blocked off, but I just called over the boulders, walked through it. No sign saying keep out, no sign saying no trespassing. So I just thought maybe they just blocked it off for no vehicles, but whatever this place is, it's abandoned. So I'll look down at the waterfront. There's actually a really old trailer right down there. Really old one. Kind of a little creepy. Well, someone's been down here in a vehicle. These sand dunes. These are nice. So I'm going to be careful where I tread, because I know somewhere along here, it's ex-military, which is now part of reserve, and there could be ordnance along here, but I see no signs saying that. So that freaks me out a little bit, so I best be careful where I walk. I might have a little nosy to the top of that ridge, and then walk back. Yeah, so let's go and do that. Stay. All right, let's go. Away from here. Away from here. There's too much glass. There's glass everywhere. Smashed. Okay, it doesn't look too bad this way. Make sure I see no blood anywhere on their paws. All right. Have a quick look at this dune. Fuck knows what I'm walking into here. So we came from way beyond over there, walked through the park, on the water, up here. And I was going to check over this ridge, and then I'm turning back. Mumford! <laughs> you get to see what's on the other side, along with me. What a view! It's over this side. Wow, above the trees. This is actually kind of neat. Lost the dog though. Hope she hasn't gone far. So I'm on top of a sand dune, a rather large one, which is, which seems to be as high as most of these trees here. These big pines, and these pines are 30, 40 feet tall. Grand Bend is just way down that way, about 25 kilometers. And I have a walk to that little point there, I think, so what we can see. Creaked out there, so I might just suddenly shout at me. It's not like me to go off the beaten path like this. No foot marks around here, no nothing. All right, we're not going in there. Start heading back. Don't want to risk it. Knowing me, I'll get lost in there. Mumford! Come on, let's go. Muffin, let's go. Here he comes, here he comes. Here he comes. 
Good boy. Good girl. This fire here still smells. So this must be from last night. I have a feeling someone burnt this last night because it still smells. Someone's sofa. Oh, shotgun cartridges. Mumford, Mello out. Come on, let's go. Mello, come on, let's go. All right, got a little walk back. Check out that old relic of a caravan. Looks a bit spooky. Sorry about the wind noise. Just walked back into the, uh, the park section, the sand dunes. We're back over there. Somewhere over here was that abandoned trailer. Well, I think it's abandoned, but it looks like it's 40, 50 years old. So I'm gonna walk past that. Mind you, it'll probably scare the crap out of me. Looking on Google Maps, Ipawash Peach is just up behind that peninsula there, but a little point. Uh, I believe I looked on the map, Doofus Drain. That's the area, not me, Doofus Drain. So if anyone knows about this area, please feel free to leave it in the comments. What was this place? Why was it closed? Is it part of a reserve? Because some of the wood structure like this looks relatively new. Look at that. It's still got the uh, tags on it. So something's been done here. Maybe it was open during the summer, they just closed it down again. Oh, I like this. A barbecue with a Ford grill written on it. Ford. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, where did I see that caravan? That trailer? I thought it was here. Now I'm seeing things. All right, we'll keep walking until I find it. Well, if Mumford can stand there, I best go and have a look. Oh, maybe there is no one in it. From a distance, it looked like someone was in that. The plate on it is not that old, A96. It's a little creepy. All right, I'm gonna keep walking away from that. <sighs> you guys can look over my shoulder. I don't like looking back, it's kind of weird. I'm wondering if this is an old campground. And uh, it's gone. And I don't see any buildings. Because usually with a campground, you'll have some kind of building or washroom. But a lot of trees have been cut down. There's a lot of fire, fires. A lot of trees have been burnt. Uh, a lot of stuff uprooted. Mind you, this could have all been caused by any of the storms that have hit this place over the years. But to me, this looks like a place that's been uh, derelict for many years, except for that new, those new pieces of uh, buildings down there, that new wood, and the ramp to the beach. Like I said, there's no signs when you come into this place. Um, just boulders blocking the road, and that was it. Look, there's an old road here as well. But it goes nowhere all overgrown maybe at some point you could go down there and camp it's eerie because i know there's a lot of uh, a lot of history in this area not good history either a lot of with the uh, canadians and the first nations here and I don't know if this is their land or not. Maybe it's what this is all about, is their disputed territory. And if so, I'm going to get off it because I don't want to upset them. What makes things worse, I'm wearing a bloody red coat. Hally Hansen, it's not a British red coat, all right? All right, the battery on my GoPro is starting to die, so I'm just going to use a bit of battery on my cell phone quickly. Boy, is it creepy here. It's like I feel like I'm being watched. 
All right, let's get out of here. Back over this uh, something drain, whatever it's called. This to me looks old fashioned. This yellow, the way it's worn away. Another warning sign kind of on the end there. One of those yellow and black ones. This thing's got, looks like bullet holes in it. <laughs> yeah, it's got a couple of gun shells in that. Uh, very much worn out. I mean, that's faded completely and repainted. Okay, things just went a little deep here. I came out a different way. And there's a name here, which I am familiar with, with history. So, um, if I recall back in 1995, there was, um, there was a dispute with the natives and a local guy was killed here. And I've just somehow stumbled across it. All literally by accident. I did not plan this whatsoever. So, um, this is it. Wow. I sincerely did not intend on coming here and finding this. This is uh, literally by accident. I feel kind of bad that I'm actually here right now. I don't want to get off it. And it is blocked off. This looks like it was the entrance to a beach, so I'm going to presume this is native land. So have a little look in here. Come here. Come here, Mother. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if it's the same here in Canada, but I know Aboriginal uh, people in Australia, at least Australia, maybe in America, I'm not too sure where I've seen it, but uh, when someone passes and dies, I believe they're meant to put the bodies on something like this, so the spirits go. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I've seen that somewhere and read it as well, and that's what that reminds me of. That's kind of interesting. So I, I guess I've stumbled across the site where the tensions took place. From what I recall, there was a massive standoff here, uh, somewhere in this area of Ipawash, with the uh, people on the native land, the OPP, and it's all to do with a land dispute. It's something to do with that army place at the top of the road, which where I, I see when I come in to this area, which is now given back to the people. Uh, but it was their land, it was meant to have been only taken away from them briefly with a good deal, whatever, and it, it, it kind of rolled on longer than what it should have done. And tensions really flared, so, and I believe it flared up again uh, back this summer. Just very, I don't know, weird, sad. Weird that I came across this. I knew there's something weird about this when I came in. Right, I need to get off this land. Right. I hope you enjoyed that. That is the video of me uh, stumbling across a roadblock and finding an abandoned park, having a walk around, getting a little creeped out and just basically a little explore. After I did the video, when I went back to the uh, rental house we were staying in, I, I did some more research because as I showed you in the video, Google, it just shows you uh, something drain and a little area. But the actual name of the place where I was was, 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 was removed. That's why I didn't know what it was where I was. It turns out it was the old Ontario Provincial Park of Ipawash, the Ipawash Provincial Park, uh, which I believe closed in 2007 and it was only just recently handed back, back to the, uh, the, uh, the native, the Aboriginal people of the area. I can't remember their name. Forgive me. Uh, so... Um, so some of their words, some of their names are quite hard for me to pronounce, so it's best if I don't pronounce them. So, um, yeah, so it's, it's now been handed back to them. And also, I read just recently, the army camp up the road is, um, is actually earmarked now for a refurbishment. The Ministry of Defence is actually going to uh, refurbish that housing, which is where a lot of people moved into. So that's good news for them there anyway. So uh, I just want to express my sincere apologies if I offended anyone from that community. It, uh, I didn't intend to do what I did. I went to explore. I actually just thought I was walking across an abandoned park or um, uh, something that had been closed down. And that's exactly what it was. And I, I was actually, I'm going to be really honest with you, I was kind of like, I don't know the best way to describe it. Um, I got a chill. 
when I, when I saw in the corner of my eye, which I thought I knew what it was as soon as I saw it, which was a memorial uh, for Dudley George. Uh, and it's it kind of airy and also sort of chilled down me a little bit as I, as I walked up to it. And it was a very somber moment. Um, I've read recently a lot of the stuff. And there's one thing this has taught me about finding this particular place. It made me open my eyes to read a bit more literature about what had transpired in Ipawash back in 1995, back in 2007, and most recently uh, this past summer where tensions flared again. So I'll put some links in the video at the very bottom. Uh, you can just click on them. It'll give you an insight to what's been going on. So there you go. That was me exploring Ipawash uh, unexpectedly on an impromptu vlog. And I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, take care.